a vegan artichoke. Okay, wait. A cheesy artichoke. Okay, hang on, hold the line, caller. Oh my God. This is such a cool dish. It's a artichoke cheesy kind of creamy, oh my God, sitting in like a major bread situation and baked in the oven like, oh my God. Um, I'm just kind of winging this actually. We kind of come up with this yesterday. It's like, oh, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You know, how are we gonna make this? It was just a bit of fun. But with all the ingredients that I have over here, have here I think they're really, really simple. And the artichokes came in a glass jar, which just had water in there and salt which is super cool and um, all I'm doing is cutting them up into quarters and then sliced half a red onion um, a garlic clove I've got some beautiful spinach here that I'm just just running my knife through um, getting nice thin strips and I've got some raw cashews water and savory yeast and the savory yeast or nutritional yeast just depending on where you're from it's going to create that cheesy deliciousness to it so but the first thing you do is slice this spinach up and one that once that's done and just kind of sitting there all proud and stuff is grab these artichokes which I've just drained now I want to keep that water and I'll show you in a minute why but firstly just cut them in half and then into thirds and not thirds cut them three times yeah Okay, last one. And they're kind of all there. I need to have a taste of these actually. Yum. Okay, so my pan is on. And this is what we want to do. As we're kind of working through this, right, we're going to make a beautiful, delicious cream kind of sauce with this, right? But I want to cook off those onions a little bit because they're a bit sharp. So just a splash of oil. And in goes your red onions. And while that's kind of sizzling away there, this is one thing about cooking too that you get your head around. It's when you have everything in front of you like this, oh, it makes things so much easier. Um, and in my online cooking classes, it's more detailed than this, so much more detailed than this. It's nothing's kind of like this, we're kind of getting things and measuring together. We're going through a process together. It's not like YouTube where it's just like boom, 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 you know, under eight minutes. Bit of shake in my tooth. All good, sizzle away you gorgeous onions. I'm not gonna put any salt and pepper in it yet because there was salt in the artichoke juice. So I'm just gonna wait for that. But what I am gonna do, itchy you nose, know, what I am gonna do is make the cream sauce. So raw cashews into the blender. And then I want a good kind of tablespoon or two of savory yeast. And I'm thinking, look at this, really big heap tablespoon of savory yeast. So one, two, I'm just gonna go three because I felt like it just then, I changed my mind. That's the whole thing with cooking, right? That garlic clove, straight into the blender. Back over to my onions. Hello onions, how are you going? You good? That's good, they're great. Everything's great over there. Water, straight into my blender. And I'm gonna blend this so it's super creamy and delicious and there's no grit from the nuts and it's gonna do its thing. And using a high speed blender is really great actually because it does take away the pressure of the motors of other blenders. And there are so many different brands out there. For chefs, we use Vitamix, it's our kind of our gig. You can buy them on eBay or Craigslist or um, any kind of secondhand outlet, you can get them. They're amazing and they last. Um, look into it and then there's other brands as well, but as long as they're like high speed, and I mean high speed, I mean, listen to this. This will go from low to high and then I'll boost it, okay? And you'll be able to hear what I mean by that. So while that's blending, you're gonna add your artichokes into the onions.
And you're gonna add your spinach into there as well. Seriously, it already smells good already, doesn't it? From, just from the onions. It's quite amazing how onions can just make things smell so amazing in the house. Low heat, everybody, low heat. It's going to go into there. Now I haven't tasted anything yet and I haven't seasoned anything yet. And it's really important that you taste now. It's so important because then you can identify how salty those artichokes are as they're kind of cooking um, with all the spinach and the onion and all the things, right? So it's very, very important. Now, as you can see in the pan, the artichokes are starting to break up and that's what I want. And everything's kind of wilting down. 100% needs pepper. And it does need a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna put a little in there. And now first thing, I'm gonna add a little bit of this liquid from the jar. Just like, you know, like a quarter of a cup. Okay, and my heat's on high. And now it's important to taste it again, just to see with those juices in there. Be careful, this is hot, my fingers can handle it. But you be careful, please. Oh, that liquid's delicious. Okay, so now it needs salt, since I've added those juices from the, um, from the artichokes, and it needs a bit more pepper. Now I've got it on a high heat. My cream's ready. Straight into here. Now you want to keep this moving, hey, because cashew cream burns because it doesn't have a lot of fat in it. So when you cook with cream, like dairy cream, it kind of floats on the surface of the pan because it has a high fat content, right? We've got a high water content here because we've used water and nuts. Does that make sense? So you want to keep this moving and you want to manage your heat. This is looking great. been cooking about a minute so you just want to taste it. it's just come to the boil now wow wow and I am adding the cream in batches well the reason why I'm doing that is because I just want to see how it goes in the heat because sometimes when you dump it all in together it takes a while to kind of reduce so I'm just watching it break down and reduce and I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'll add a little bit more. I'll add a bit more. And now it's just, oh my God, it just looks like cream. It's actually incredible. This is where your intuition kicks in, right? So I'm tasting this, adding a bit more seasoning, salt and pepper. Then I'm thinking, oh my God, I want more savory yeast. I know, right? Because I want it more cheesy. And I really like that peppery kind of feel to it, to it, to it as well, because I like the pepper to be quite strong in this. All right, look at it. So the oven is on, right? Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on, everything's on. And it's on about 180. And I want to take this bread that came from the bakery this morning and I'm going to run it under here into the water. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> I know, right? It's hilarious, but it works. 
So what I'm doing by running it under the water is I'm creating kind of like that, when it goes in the oven, the oven hits the moisture of the bed, bread, and it becomes like so crispy, like it's just come out of the oven, right? It's a genius thing to do. It's weird, I know. A nice sharp bread knife. I'm gonna chop the top off. And now I want to take all of the insides out. It's not even wet in there, it was just the outside, right? So I want to take the insides out. So you're just going to run your knife around like this. And you're just going to scoop this out with your fingers like this. Such a great party, having a beer out the back and pulling this out in front of your mates. Don't throw that away. Do not throw that away. Okay, now we need a tray. A little bit of olive oil, just on the tray, just a little. Smear that bread onto there. Are you with me? Are you still with me? Stay with me. And I'm gonna tip. So this is where my muscles come to play. I just want to lick this actually. Hang on, hold the line collar. Mm. Oh my God. 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 Okay, this is going to go into here. Lid on top. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Just a little, just for flavour. Just a little salt, just because it deserves it. This situation sitting on the side and straight into the oven. Oh, 15, 20. Remember, this is already hot inside, right? We're not wanting the inside to be hot. We're wanting the outside to be crunchy and delicious. So, 15, 20 minutes, okay, into the oven. And then this is ready to come out of the oven, thank God, because it's so hot in here. Having a facial on your face. <laughs> oh, steam bath. Now check this out, guys. Crunchy from the water, yeah? Genius move, right? Don't ever- you don't do with the water, it won't be crunchy. You won't get that crunch like that super fast, like I did, yeah. Because it really is like, it's just come from, you know, the bakery, yeah. It's like crunchy bread. And this, you just kind of, <laughs> it is a genius move. You just kind of break it up, kind of rip it up and have it kind of around there. I mean, you can have some celery sticks, you know, some cherry tomatoes. Cucumber sticks, all the healthy stuff. All right, you ready for the big reveal? Are you ready? Yes, yes, yes. Are you yes. ready? You need to watch, okay? You need to watch my top movement here because this is a crunchy situation happening here. She wants to Instagram it, we have to wait. Behind the scenes in my story. Hey, listen, I've got a new cookbook out. It's called Plant-Based Love Stories. It's amazing. Hey, can you pass me a copy, Gungun? Thank you, my friend. Oh my God, thank you, thank you. All the things. But anyway, back to this. Okay, you ready? Ready. I know, right? And so the trick is to be really mindful when you serve this, don't just go in there, but you just break bits off, right? And everyone kind of takes the bit and they get a little situated, it's very hot, and they scoop into this hot, delicious glory. Do not put that in your mouth. Oh, look at that, isn't that beautiful? Imagine having a drink with your friends, hey? When you pull out this bad boy. 
Oh my god. Seriously. Come on, come try it. Gungun, you wanna come try it? Hot here. Oh, yeah, man. Wow. Mm. Wow. Creamy, huh? Right. You love bread. Oh, of You love bread, don't you? Yeah, Anything bread, with bread, 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 you're there, man. Remember that time when we were doing some footage yep. and you ate? we ate all that starter loaf bread? <laughs> that sourdough bread? We all, <laughs> we, all got, we all got tired afterwards. It was so funny. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-